here's a weekly weather briefing for Monday, July 17th, 2017 from the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi. The highlights for this briefing um, today, we'll go over the rain chances uh, that we're expecting, uh, mostly area-wide, uh, but that will slowly become confined further south later in the week. The strong upper ridge uh, that will move in will bring increasing heat mid to late week. Uh, heat stress concerns are expected as we approach mid to late week. Uh, that will weaken some uh, by next weekend with increasing rain chances. We'll also look at the, some of the rainfall totals and the forecast for this week and also the tropical outlook. For today, uh, those rain and storm chances will be best confined across southern portions of the area as some drier air begins to slowly filter in. And so here's a forecast, uh, pretty much most of the rain chances will be in the southern portions of the area. Uh, for tomorrow, uh, those will slowly become confined further south. Uh, some of that drier air, not, not very dry, but at least dry enough to uh, limit rain chances. And as mentioned, that will, uh, rain chances will slowly begin to subside as we go into midweek. As strong high pressure builds over the region, rain chances will lessen around midweek and the heat will climb as temperatures warm up into the mid, possibly upper 90s. Uh, due to that and uh, moist ground, heat stress will become a concern across the region. As mentioned before, the strong ridge of high pressure will move over. Uh, the temperatures will warm up by mid to late week with the hottest days around Wednesday to Saturday timeframe. This could bring mid to possibly upper 90s across the region. Uh, this in combination with dew points in the mid 70s will bring heat stress concerns as the heat indices climb to near to above 105 degrees, uh, mostly across the area. Uh, heat advisories may be likely needed for across the region. And it looks uh, around Thursday, Wednesday to Thursday looks to be the hottest uh, portion of the, uh, the time. As that high pressure uh, builds southeast into the Gulf and there's a weak upper disturbance that moves to our south and west, uh, more moisture will slowly filter back in, uh, bringing some slow increasing rain chances by next weekend. This will help tamper down heat stress concerns some, but there is some uncertainty on how long the heat will prevail into the weekend. Rainfall the past week has been fairly scattered uh, with nearly two to four inches or so area wide with less in the delta uh, not much actually at all. And then in the 82 corridor, uh, we've had a, a few inches. Uh, and the Highway 84 corridor has had the most, uh, probably between three to five inches in some spots. The forecast rainfall for the next week is going to be fairly low across most of the region and mainly confined along and south of the I-20, around half inch to possibly upwards of three quarters of an inch to one inch uh, at most. Uh, in some isolated areas uh, in the Highway 84 corridor. This drier pattern will help us warm midweek, especially long and north of I-20. Uh, overall, here's the seven-day forecast. The, like mentioned before, rain chances will lessen. Temperatures will heat up around the mid-90s, possibly upper 90s, especially in northern areas. Uh, heat stress, uh, as mentioned before, will become a concern. Looking at the tropical outlook, uh, National Hurricane Center right now is monitoring two disturbances over the central Atlantic. These two disturbances, uh, the first one that we'll talk about is uh, just east of the Lesser Antilles. It has a 50% chance or medium chance of development over the next five days. Uh, however, that strong high pressure that's uh, going to be building southeast and also over the western Atlantic uh, should deflect any remnants far south of our area to the southern Caribbean Sea. The other disturbance is a low chance of development over the next five days and looks to be deflected out to sea. Uh, right now, no threats to the Arklamis look to be at this time. So overall, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, like mentioned before, you can, we'll talk about it here. And then also, um, you can always uh, contact us at the number uh, provided and also on social media.